Do you know a hit song when you hear it? We'd all like to think so, right? Well, get this. Researchers in Britain say you may be able to predict if a song will be successful. Gary Hamilton explains. Good morning, I'm Shelly Wade on New York's hit music station, Z100. Nationally syndicated DJ Shelly Wade knows when she's got a huge pop song on her hands. First of all, when everybody's requesting it. <laughs> and then when I want to blast the speakers while I'm on air, <laughs> that's when I know it's huge. And you probably know it when you can't go anywhere without hearing or seeing it. So what have been some of the biggest songs this year? You call me maybe. Party Rock. We Are Young. Payphone. Mercy by Kanye West. Well, the one in everyone's minds right now would probably be Call Me Maybe. According to researchers in Britain, songs like that don't become hits by chance. They say a successful pop song often follows a formula, and they say it's possible to predict which songs will top the charts with a computer program called Score a Hit. It uses mathematical equations to analyze a song's hit-making qualities. More music coming in, a little bit more fun. Songwriter Jared Cotter doesn't buy it. I may sound a little bit uh, like a dinosaur on this one, but I really feel like a hit record definitely cannot be determined by a computer. He's written some big pop songs, including Jay Sean's Do You Remember, featuring Sean Paul and Lil Jon, and Down, featuring Lil Wayne. You need that human connection. You need to feel something, and uh, computers have no feelings. So you can't really ever trust the opinion of a computer when it comes to emotion and which is the driving factor in music in my opinion. So what's the formula? The researchers looked at hits and flops in the UK's top 40 since 1961, then analyzed 23 specific song characteristics. They found hits within the same time period shared many of the same attributes. I spoke with the lead researcher for Score Hit, Tail DeBee. He's a professor in England. So what sparked the idea of analyzing pop songs? Uh, well, uh, we were interested uh, whether the audio of music actually contributes to success of the song, or if the success of a song is almost exclusively determined by other factors such as, for example, the popularity of the artist, the marketing budget used, um, maybe social factors surrounding the songs. While lots of non-audio variables, like marketing, do go into making a hit, the research suggests the music alone can predict its success. For instance, if you want a hit in 2012, it needs to be between 3 minutes and 30 seconds to 4 minutes and 15 seconds long, and have a tempo of 90 to 128 beats per minute, or BPMs. Most importantly, it better make you dance. How many BPMs is this song? This is, I think it's 126. Yeah. So right in that realm, huh? So would the analysis have predicted that Do You Remember would have been such a huge hit? It would have said that it has a very high potential. While some non-danceable songs become hits, they score well in other features. I think that if people use this program, they'll start to write for the program as opposed to starting to to, to write from their feeling. They'll be writing to the equation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's dangerous. But Professor DeBee says score a hit is not a recipe to create a song. He says it's the fine-tuned songs you already have. And he says some music producers may unconsciously follow a hit song formula without even knowing it. So would Jared use the program? Well, I, I would, honestly, I'd, if, if it was that accurate mm -hmm. and proven to be that accurate, right. I, would, I would definitely use it as a tool you know, before sending it out to a record label or an artist. Of course, music will keep evolving, and things that make songs a hit today could be outdated in a few years. But formula or not, chances are you'll always know a hit when you hear one. So here's my number. So call me maybe. Gary Hamilton, Channel 1 News. Can't get this story out of